Good morning. Off to a nature reserve today called Idle Valley. It's in North Nottinghamshire. It's a big old uh, reserve, this one. It's not got hides, it's got screens. I've only been to a part of it, a very small part of it. So I'm going to investigate a bit more today, but I want to get some photography in as well. Um, there's been reports of the great white egret there and also a bittern. So let's go and have a look and see what we can get. Well, this is just downstream from that waterfall that I've just shown you and basically it's a bit of a holding pool. Now that's the location you need to look out for for kingfishers because obviously there's going to be fish holding in there. There's lots of overhanging branches, an ideal spot for kingfishers. You take a look at these. idea.
Well, that was Idle Valley Nature Reserve in Lound, North Nottinghamshire. It's a massive, massive nature reserve. It is vast. And the lakes, the ponds, they're all massive as well. There's a beautiful river there. I've shown you where you could possibly take kingfishers. For sure, I'm pretty sure you could take kingfishers there. What a cracking place for that. Now, because it's so vast, and it's what, now it's autumn, yeah, everything that was on the water was really at distance, so you need a long lens. So if you're willing to carry a long lens round, or even using the old trolley, yeah, it's a well, well worth doing that, without a doubt. You do need a long lens, certainly this time of year. In the winter, who knows what's going to drop in? The amount of uh, water that's up there is going to catch so many birds' eyes, they're going to come down. And if they're in the scrapes, then you've got a chance. The only problem is you can't really get close to the shoreline, so it's really challenging. And as you know, we wildlife photographers, we're always up for a challenge. That's why we do it. We enjoy doing that. So I would recommend that you go there and challenge yourself and see what you can get. It's, I was talking to a gentleman there who said there's a, a field of maize. And when that comes down, when they take that down, then you get short-eared owls around there in large numbers apparently but also i was talking to a lady and she'd seen a couple of days ago a otter in the river so you know you never know what you're gonna get and it's always worth if you're up for a challenge and it's always worth a go i've enjoyed and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe hit the like button leave a comment and i'll see you next time bye for now mm -hmm.